before we start painting, I need to set up a good, simple, well-organized composition. Uh, based on your words, uh, this rose, uh, this rose, this orange beauty, uh, free spirit. <clears throat> Uh, you guys uh, voted for, for, for this yesterday. So we're gonna uh, paint this one. Uh, it's gonna be our primary subject, this orange beauty. And it's already, uh, it's already, it's already gives us this kind of uh, flow motion, diagonal composition, but it's right now it's too empty, right? And we need to add secondary objects, small secondary ob objects, or uh, some lines that will break this is main compositional line. Uh, for this thing, I'm gonna add uh, this, a few blades of grass. Some pieces. Let me see, okay, I like this more. So I bought this rose on sale and it wasn't really fresh. So it, it has only like three leaves. And in that case, usually I can use uh, leaves from another rose. And if you want to go deeper and learn the nuances of painting flowers with watercolor, I would like to tell you about our amazing course by Tatiana Herbachevska. There you will paint flowers which are adored and admired by many, many people, gorgeous peonies, and also find out the ways of making still life compositions. During this course, you will learn to apply the principles of building a flower composition. We're going to talk about rhyme. We're going to learn how to mix colors and apply essentials of chromatics and transmit the natural light. Tatiana will also touch on the topic of tonal values and art materials. You will first make a pencil sketch according to the rules of composition and then paint it with watercolor. So now you can see the link in the right upper corner. Just click on it and register for the course right now and get the lifetime access to the course materials. The link is also located in the description under this video. So hope to see you there. I always has, have another rose, for example, this one. And I can put them here. I think it's, it, it looks a little bit better. Okay, what else we can add to our composition? For example, we can add this tiny, tiny flower. Okay, also I have like dry berries. It's like tiny, tiny bits. They will, they will be playing with uh, each other and our composition will be more interesting. Okay, what else we can do? Sometimes for the color balance, I I um, used to add petals, but this petal is too big, right? So I'm gonna put just some pieces of this petal here and there. And you see, like already we have balance because the, the, this rose is orange. It, it's very bright, right? And these small pieces uh, like creates a balance in, in this part, in this area of the paper. What else we can do? And probably I will add a piece of uh, thread. You can do something like this or Maybe something like this. Maybe it's too much. We'll see. Uh, 
Uh, I think it's okay.